And finally tonight, long before Euro millions and the National Lottery, premium bonds were making Britain's dreams come true. Since the 1950s, the savings scheme has been dishing out tax-free cash prizes, and at the heart of it all has been Ernie. It's the remarkable machine that selects the random numbers, but like any technology, it does need the occasional upgrade. As Richard Pallow reports, the latest version is light years ahead. I want you to meet another premium bond prize winner who's won a thousand pounds. Mrs. Brace of Gunnerbeer Grantham. Millions of us have them. Many of us once got them as Christmas presents. The great day of the big draw. Launched in the 50s to control inflation and encourage saving, Ernie used to be the size of a van. But the electronic random number indicator equipment has got smaller and quicker over the decades, now sifting through 79 billion premium bonds that currently exist. Well, this is the size of the heart of Ernie today. The latest incarnation, a quantum leap from what's gone before. Ernie 5 uses quantum technology, which is based on light. Now, light waves travel a lot faster than audio sounds, and therefore it can generate numbers much, much quicker. So it can do them in 12 minutes and not nine hours? Correct. Well, this is the prototype for Ernie 1, built by the man who invented Colossus, the code-breaking machine in the Second World War. In 1956, this was state-of-the-art, using thermal noise to generate these random numbers and to help convince a sceptical press and public that it really did work fairly. The younger generations need convincing in other ways, like what it actually is. The premium ones are like a kind of, uh, what is it, like a, an old-fashioned lottery, isn't it? Is that right? I don't know what a premium bonds is. <laughs> premium bonds? Um, I know something to do with the bank, that's about it. <laughs> Am I wrong? Come along. However, it remains the UK's most popular saving product. Take the right road with premium bonds. Once making Mrs Brace very happy. Richard Pallow, ITV News.